I made a video a while back on lightsabers in Obi-Wan Kenobi and how Disney has nerfed them to the point where they bounce off everything like a baseball bat. But this video is not about that. Lightsaber bounces are goofy, but they only happen occasionally, so it's not a constant distraction. There is a bigger issue that I didn't touch on in that video, and it's something I honestly haven't heard anyone talk about. And no, I'm not talking about the glow effect and now colors nearby surfaces and characters, say what you want about that. Personally, I'm a little bit on the fence. Looks cool in certain shots, other times it's not as cool. But what's never cool is Disney. Disney's new lightsaber core 2.0. In the prequels, and for the most part in the originals, the core of the lightsaber was completely white. Pick any lightsaber duel of the original six, pause at any frame, and you'll see a bright white core, regardless of how much spinning is going on. Pause at any lightsaber swinging moment in Obi-Wan or the Mandalorian, and you'll see a toy. I think most people have grown very accustomed to seeing the frame-by-frame -frame digitally added lightsabers of the prequels, and now that Disney has found a way to seemingly cut costs in the VFX department by building pretty impressive glow sticks to make behind-the-scenes footage look almost indistinguishable from finished shots, we're all left with green plastic motion blur that at least for me pulls you out of the show. Couple that up with a few bounces and we have a recipe for broken suspension of disbelief. Here's another Star Wars clip on the screen, handpicked for you. 